Hello, all of you mighty fine people out there, and welcome to The Meandering Market, the show where a bunch of us hopeless nerds strive to bring you every bit of help we can in, to improve the role-playing experience at your table. Uh, I'm Aaron. Uh, my name is Daniel. And I'm the third helpless nerd, Caleb. And we just wanted to remind everybody that uh, while we do have a strong passion and we really enjoy storytelling and role-playing uh, and gaming alike, we don't assume our opinions or claims are 100% true for everybody. One of the most beautiful things about tabletop gaming is that each and every group is unique and has their own special story to tell. As such, our advice cannot and will never be a catch-all for every single group. Uh, take the time to think about and apply the advice that we give to the group, and if it doesn't apply, don't worry about it. If you're not sure, ask your DM. Uh, they're probably trustworthy, and if you let them run your game, it makes sense that they're trustworthy. And as always, put fun and enjoyment uh, above any advice that we give. So uh, what we're talking about today is uh, why rolling a natural one is actually the best thing that can happen to you. Uh, so to, to give a little bit of an uh, example here of why rolling a natural one could be a great thing. Um, I used to run a campaign that lasted for two years, levels one through 20. It was actually the first game I ever played of D&D, &D, and uh, I was the dungeon master all the way through. And one of the uh, things that happened in this campaign to set the scene is my, my group had managed to get the attention of the BBG, the big bad evil guy. And they had killed two of his lieutenants without even knowing that that's who they were. So he sent them an invitation to a banquet. He wanted to talk to them. They didn't know what he wanted, so they came to the banquet prepared. They talked to their one of the NPCs who was following them, a little NPC uh, named Droop. Uh, he is actually pretty popular since he comes from the Lost Minds of Fandover. Um, he was an artificer, and he had built them a bomb in case things went wrong in the, uh, in the castle. And when rolling for a tinkering check, he rolled a natural 20. So they knew it was a very potent bomb. They go into this banquet. They're trying to figure out who invited them to it. They eventually meet the BBEG. He calls them out in the middle of the banquet during one of his speeches. And the fighter tried to lie her way out of it, saying, oh no, we're not those people. We're a delegation from this city. She rolled. We all watched. She rolls a natural one. In that moment, the character failed, but it created one of the most memorable moments of the campaign, which was where the player immediately looked up without hesitation and said, get the bomb. And that's what they did. The, the druid picked up the bomb, tossed it to the fighter, she set it off, and I had them roll a d100 to see how effective it was, and they rolled 100. So it was a nat 20 bomb that rolled a 100 and blew up the entire banquet and led to one of the most intense fight scenes in the world since only halfway through the campaign they had a face off with the BBEG where they blew up his banquet hall. <laughs> so natural one but it led to one of the most memorable moments of the campaign and I distinctly remember everybody that night with large smiles on their faces laughing and cheering as they managed to get away from this epic encounter that I had never intended to happen because he just wanted to talk to them and send them on their way. <laughs> yeah also they set off a bomb in a banquet hall where they were not the only people and he's the big bad evil guy. <laughs> I just was, had to put that one in context. It was one of my favorite encounters I've ever run and I did not intend for it to happen. It was entirely impromptu. And so a natural one can lead to some of the best moments in a campaign as long as your players are willing to lead into it. And so I think that transitions really well into our next point, that a natural one does mean a failure for the character. It means that you have failed miserably at whatever it is that you were attempting to do, but it is not a lose button. Mm -hmm. Rolling a one, like, there's a 5% chance every time you pick up one of those 20-sided little whatevers, <laughs> uh, there is a 5% chance of it landing on the dreaded one. So don't be afraid of it, because it'll happen. Mm -hmm. um, I, think, I, I think something that's important to remember is that, you know, like Caleb was just talking about, uh, we don't, it's not necessarily a matter of success or failure, you know? Um, it's like it says in the player's handbook, this is a collaborative experience you come together to create a story and a narrative with uh, other people. Like, if, if you could ruin the game 
by doing something that will happen, then it wouldn't be part of the game. Um, and I think this is something that uh, Caleb has said multiple times, and I really genuinely appreciate it as the DM of our campaign. Uh, there are times when everybody has been like, oh my gosh, what if this all goes bad? What if something happens? What if it's super dangerous? And what if we die and blah, blah, blah. And you have looked up and said, guys, I trust Daniel. He is not going to let us ruin the game because of one bad choice. If you guys actively, accidentally self-sabotaging can't ruin the game, a little piece of plastic or metal is not going to do that. <laughs> Heck, the last fight that D'Artagnan was in, uh, you Ooh, didn't roll a one, I don't think, but you rolled real bad uh, to zip line around somebody and try and hook them, uh, mm -hmm. to knock somebody over, and then to resist a hold person spell. It, you know, that was actually, I rolled a one on my second save to try and break that. That's so, what it was. There yeah. was something in there that, like, it was just a bad string of rolls but because of that like it was an incredibly funny moment where you failed at everything you were trying to do saw how dangerous the next room was and then mm. couldn't communicate it to anybody <laughs> it, it was a very dangerous time and for a moment i was really sitting there going well it's been a good run i really think this is the end of my this life. is how he dies well, fortunately, he did not. He did not die. Everybody got him out in time, and you know that one. Well, in the moment, I was sitting there going, "This sucks." Uh, yeah. That moment led to the completion of his character arc. It allowed him to finally see things. So that one led to a much more rewarding story. In the end. Sometimes it's sitting there for combat time is horrible. About fifteen <laughs> seconds, just frozen in time, watching yeah. your friends fight for their lives while you can do nothing and you're chained to a guy <laughs> with your own arm you have built a weird character man uh, he's not there he retired <laughs> he retired after that uh, but something yeah. about that failure putting everything in perspective is what led to that satisfying character art mm -hmm. yeah uh would you say that that natural one led to you retiring your character uh, I would say the failure, not necessarily the natural one. The natural one in that moment was really me just going, oh, okay. I, like, I'm just going to sit here paralyzed. Like, I have no hope at this point. Uh, Tanya but, rolled a natural one prank. Gone wrong. <laughs> you won't believe what happens next. But, but I would easily say that that string of bad rolls, because I, I literally was just sitting here for a good portion of the game thinking, how does this affect my character now? Like, wh what happens? And that those bad roles led to that satisfying character arc, which I don't think he would have reached for a much longer time if that failure hadn't happened. For sure. Absolutely. Um, and I think the last thing to really get to on this specific point is that, you know, like, rolling a one can suck. Like, even if you can't make it funny or super memorable, even if it doesn't lead to, like, like one of those ridiculous never forget it moments it's one of the natural downs of the game and the mm -hmm. beauty of having those downs is that there's always an up eventually mm -hmm. you know even the longest drop on a roller coaster you got to go up sooner or later uh the next point we wanted to make um was um how do you so how do you make a natural one into an important character moment so really what you want to do is if you roll an extra one, depending on the circumstance, it's going to affect your character in some way. Um, really just depends on their personality, their background, how they see themselves. Um, so what you can do is lean into the failure. Can you make the moment comical? Maybe you have a bard that's just a really goofball, silly character, and he rolls really low on stealth, and you make him trip and make a joke out of himself and do a cartwheel out of it and right in front of the enemies and just say, hey, <laughs> hey guys, All seven uh, of here I am. Fall out his back. <laughs> All seven of his accordions fall out of his pocket. <laughs> Something like that. That could be hilarious. <laughs> you could also make it like, you, you, maybe you have a really prideful character. They're, they really pride themselves in their strength and their ability to fight with a great axe, let's say. And you roll a natural one in a fight and you just throw it across the room. 
your character might spend that night just swinging away at a dummy because they're pissed off and they don't want to ever have to do that again because they're like, I'm really good. I should be really good at this. Or maybe the they're even that. embarrassed. Maybe they're you know? embarrassed. Yeah. Um, there's characters that kind of shell up and they're like, oh my God, how, how could I do this? And I'm just going to hide from my, my friends and I'm scared to talk to them because they see me as a failure now. Maybe that's something your character would do. And the other characters would need to maybe come try to talk you out of it. Or, you know, that could be, could lead to some really good character bonding moments in that scenario. Um, yeah, be realistic. Uh, try to make your character uh, do something they would do. Uh, if you have a certain direction you want your character to go, make it point towards that direction somehow. Let's say you're thinking about multi-classing maybe. And maybe this failure leads towards that multi-class. Let's say your character is a fighter and you fail as a fighter in some way. And you maybe keep getting, you keep getting KO'd because you can't yeah. kill an enemy fast enough. You, For sure. And your dice curse like Caleb. Mm -hmm. And maybe that leads him to go into a paladinic oath. Maybe he's like, I need the help of a God to be able to deal more damage. Yeah. Or maybe he, you have a character that keeps accidentally hurting your party members. You're, you're a ranger and you're rolling natural ones and your arrows are hitting your friends. Uh, maybe that would cause them to want to multi-class into cleric or learn more healing magic to fix their mistakes. Um, it can be really interesting character moments uh, and character decisions as you go through your game. And not all natural ones need to have an important impact on your character. Um, in our current game, I, I have a character that's very level-headed for the most part, um, except with one specific topic. Yeah. Um, but whenever he makes a mistake, he's, his, his goal in his head is like, okay, we just got to live with the mistakes we make. Everybody makes them. Um, as long as we keep moving forward, it shouldn't affect anything. And so, and that's what he does. It doesn't affect what he does or anything. It, uh, in, in the upcoming arc, I think it might, but we'll <laughs> see what happens. Um, <laughs> That'll depend on a few choices you guys make. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm um, hijacking this video to be ominous. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, we, and if, and of course, like when they have a success after that kind of failure, maybe that's a triumphant moment for them. And you see them clench their fist in success, like, yes, I did it, or something like that. I guess just to come back to everything that we've gone over, kind of try and wrap things up. In summary, uh, failure is a natural part of the game. Uh, and in the words of Thanos, dread it, run from it, destiny arrives all the same. Uh, so all that to say, it, you don't have to be afraid of it. You know, people act like rolling a one is this world ending moment, this horrible defeat, this failure of character, and it's not. Sometimes it takes the failure of rolling a one on something to make that next time when you roll really high. Maybe you roll a natural 20 next time. And that feels great, especially because you can say, look, I did really bad before, but this time I've done better. Uh, sometimes it's funny or really tense or it can increase the stakes in a situation or make an entirely new one that was not supposed to happen. Uh, but whatever the case, don't let it hold you back. I think being scared of failing and uh, hating the possibility of rolling a natural one, it can really ruin your whole night if you let it. So don't let it. Yeah. I know for me personally, uh, rolling a natural one is sometimes more exciting than rolling anything else in the game, so... Yeah, sometimes it's more important when you fail than when you succeed. And uh, on that note, you mentioned a Thanos, uh, a great example in media of a natural one leading to an incredibly interesting story is actually at the end of uh, Infinity War. Infinity War, when Thor rolls a natural one on his perception check and does not realize that Thanos is still snapping. That simple yeah. thing. <laughs> led to an entirely new plot line. Yeah, it led to an entirely new plot line where Iron Man rolled a nat 20 on sleight of hand. Exactly. So 
and, and you know, well, actually, that unfortunately that metaphor only goes so far because Thor didn't really get a natural twenty in the next movie. But <laughs> I still think it's a great example of a natural one leading to something that could be far more fun and fulfilling for you guys if you just yeah. let the story go where it goes. Well. Thank you all for joining our discussion today on natural ones and why it can be the best thing to ever happen to your character. I really appreciate everybody taking the time to have this discussion with us today, and I hope you walk away with everything that you need to have some treasured memories. Thank you for shopping for Meander's Market. Come again.